This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life. Hello everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately about GMO food compared to organic food, what's the difference? And uh, many people aren't even asking me what the difference is, many people are assuming that they're the same thing. I hear a lot of people that uh, I don't want to necessarily call them naive, just uh, uneducated about this topic saying if something is not organic, it's automatically GMO, and that is not the case, so I wanted to make a video just to clear this up. Uh, and, and so people get a clear understanding of this. Uh, organic basically means that the food has not been, uh, pesticides has not been used on the food or the land that the food is grown on. So there's organic certification and then there's uh, organic food. For example, if you go to a farmer's market, they might say, well, we're not certified organic, but the food, we don't use any spray on the food or we use very little. Uh, there are some foods that are grown organically on certain lands that haven't been sprayed in years, but they, they didn't pay to get the certification. Certified organic, uh, people have to pay a lot of money for, and basically what it means is the land, again, that it's grown on hasn't been uh, used for, for certain pesticides and also uh, for years and also on the actual application of the food itself. Uh, so uh, some people will say, well, how do you know if it's real or not? And the certification uh, is pretty strict in the United States on, on foods that claim to be certified or not. But if uh, the local uh, little supermarket down the block uh, has strawberries, not strawberries, say apples, and they somehow get a hold of organic stickers and they stick those on those apples. Uh, if you're doing this long enough, you're educated to know what an apple that's unorganic with wax and that's grown in pesticides versus an organic apple looks like and tastes like. So that's ultimately uh, one of the best ways to tell the difference, regardless if something says it's organic or not. Uh, but when it comes to GMO, uh, one of the great things about organic food today, if it is true and real, and I do trust the organic standards in stores that I shop at. Uh, I wouldn't trust them just in any store, but where I shop, I, I trust that they're, they're properly labeling things. And one of the things is... Uh, if it's if it's organic, it's most likely not GMO. You're not allowed to have a food that's genetically modified and also organic. That's something years ago that the organic standard uh, uh, was fighting for was to say, no, you know, if it's organic, it's definitely not GMO. And they won that, thankfully. So uh, if it's organic, it's not supposed to be in GMO. There are several exceptions to that, which I'll discuss briefly here today. Uh, but I just want to make make it clear. If you take an apple and you spray it with bug spray, you know, even if you clean it, you know, you know, it's it's still not organic. So even if it's organic bug spray, it's not organic, and it's certainly not certified organic. Now, that doesn't mean it's GMO. It doesn't mean it's genetically modified. Now, hybridization and and genetically modified are two different things. Hybridization is, uh, is, is, is seeds mixing with seeds and plants mixing with plants. So instead of having a, uh, you know, two different foods come together, I don't know what you would give a great example. Maybe a plum and a nectarine, will, uh, a nectalum, I don't know. Uh, just take, you take two separate foods and you, and, you, and you make them into one. That's hybridization. That's not healthy either. But nowhere near as bad as, as genetically modified. So now genetically modified, just so you have a good, better understanding of this, it's very toxic and, and not healthy to the body. Uh, but basically, it's uh, th there's a certain list of foods currently, uh, as of uh, 2017, that are genetically modified. Now, the United States list and other countries is, is different. If you're getting food from other countries... You're on your own there. I'm looking at the United States here. Talk about the United States. And point being, we shouldn't be eating. We should be eating as local as possible. So eating foods from other countries in general aren't local. So that's uh, something you need to consider. Uh, you, you're taking a chance whenever you eat food that's not grown in the United States of where it's coming from. Now, as for the United States, I'm going to tell you now the foods that are definitely GMO. And again, if I if they're on the GMO list, but they're organic. They're, they should be safe. They're not GMO. But if they if they if they say GMO, uh, they could be organic. Uh, they could be you know unorganic or use a lot of sprays. But it's it's so so. This is what I just wanted to clarify. So corn, 
There's no way anyone should be using corn that's not organic. Non-organic corn is 100% GMO. It's it's the king of the GMO foods. The number one GMO GMO food out there. Genetically modified organisms are all over corn. So if you uh, are eating corn of any kind, now keep this in mind. If corn is in something you're eating, so if you go to get a frozen meal at the supermarket and corn's in there, if it doesn't say organic corn, it's genetically modified. So uh, corn is one thing to look out for. So the next time you sit down to eat an apple that's uh, 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 hybridized or unorganic, it doesn't mean it's GMO. But corn, definitely, if it's not organic, it's GMO. The next one is uh, soybeans. Uh, soybeans or soybean oil or 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 anything like this, uh, anything to do with soy, if it's not organic, it's GMO. And uh, so so that's 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 number two on the list, soybeans. Number three would be, and this is the big one, canola, rapeseed or canola, and uh, canola oil. Uh, so uh, it, it's it's canola was derived from the rapeseed plant. Uh, you know, and and they're genetically uh, they're genetically modified uh, uh, canola oils. So even more important than organic, look for a genetically modified free or non non uh, GMO genetically modified organisms. That that's even better than organic standards. When you're going to buy a product, uh, re remember though, if it says non GMO, it doesn't mean it's organic. So so do we understand here? So we have organic and non organic. We have GMO and non-GMO, but non-GMO doesn't mean it's organic. Because remember, organic means the food is just not sprayed with with uh, with bug spray. It has nothing to do with genetically modified stuff. So, so canola oil is 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 something that's in a lot of products. Again, uh, you might be eating on an organic food that's a non-GMO source, like uh, let's say, for example, I don't know. Uh, a peach, let's say a peach isn't GMO. So let's say you're eating a peach. It's non-GMO because they're not on the GMO list. But if you're going to take that peach and, and, and drain it in in canola oil, guess what? Now it's it's genetically modified. So you want to see if canola oil is in some of the things that, that you consume. So the next one is a potato. Potato, genetically modified. There's, uh, there are at least nine approved varieties of GMO potatoes in the United States. Uh, that are currently uh, uh, some form are going to be this year modified, uh, GMO or uh, modified. So make sure they they have to be organic. Papaya, Hawaiian papaya is uh, I'd say very good chance that it's genetically modified. You want to avoid Hawaiian papaya. Now somebody says, what if we get organic Hawaiian papaya? Uh, still, very good chance it's not genetically modified. However, uh, you want to find non-genetically modified, which is better than organic uh, in terms of that, in terms of to make sure it's not GMO. But organic is best in terms of nothing sprayed on it. So another one is zucchini uh, and, and squash or zucchini. That's another one you want to make sure you get organic. Beets and, you know, sugar beets. Uh, you want to make sure uh, you get those. Uh, and if something has beet sugar in it, you want to make sure you get those uh, or that are organic. Don't eat non-organic. Uh, see, years ago when I gave you the in my books and talk, spoke about the the organic versus the non-organic foods, which ones are the best and worst? It was really came down to which ones are sprayed the most and sprayed the least, or which one used more drugs and the least drugs possible. But today that's different. Now it comes down to uh, genetically modified it has to take play into that. So the whole list has changed. Alfalfa is another one. Uh, so it's, uh, it's commonly used in, alfalfa is used in many of the feeds to feed livestock, uh, and it's getting more unpopular in health food stores. A lot of, a lot of, uh, supplement companies will, will put full fillers with alfalfa in there and stuff, but it's genetically modified. So it's something you need to, to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is this livestock that's eaten this GMO now becomes a GMO animal. So you need to make sure the animals, this is why it's so important to get organic grass-fed animals, because organic will take care of the GMO part, and the grass-fed will take care of the, they're not eating garbage part, and uh, so if you are going to eat animals, that's what you have to eat, or just be smart and don't eat animals. Uh, the next one is flax. Uh, flax uh, is, uh, in, can in Canada years ago, they, they approved uh, GMO flax, so again, if you're getting flax or flaxseeds or flaxseed oil, 
make sure it's it's uh it's it's organic now uh there are some newer ones that are going to be added to the list this this coming year uh and uh, apples believe it or not are now going to be on the gmo list of, of gmo foods uh so it was approved by the fda in 2015 uh, and this is the year that it's going to be uh be be part of the gmo food so apple is something else you're not going to want to eat it non-organic anymore a plum is another one uh, a plum is 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 that now let's get into some animals products here salmon farm raised farm raised salmon is genetically modified uh, for the most part, so that's something uh, you want to you should avoid, and you probably should avoid that anyway. And wild caught salmon, it, depending where it's caught, I mean, there's so much uh, radiation in the water today from Fukushima and so many other places. You're probably just better off not even fish eating fish anymore. And people say, well, fish is supposed to be healthy, it's supposed to be, but not with a genetically modified radiation. Uh, it's no longer healthy. Avoid it. Go vegan. Uh, cloned meat. There are certain uh, animals that are genetically modified and completely cloned, uh, and 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 I have no doubt that they're serving the meat and and just to, for the, in the name of money and everything else. Uh, now a lot of the yeast and enzymes and hormones that people are getting uh, are genetically modified to some degree or another, and it's this is probably where people unknowingly get many of the genetically modified chemicals more than than anywhere else is is in in certain the supplements and things like this this is just not labeled and it's not as well known uh a new one that's going to be added to the list now and sorry for you guys that love this food but uh pineapple pineapple is another one that's going to be added to the list it was approved recently and they're going to start having pink flesh pineapples those are genetically modified not just hybridized but genetically modified. So, so those are things you need to definitely avoid uh, if they're not organic. And uh, now there's other considerations and other things to think about that either in other countries or at one point in this country have been genetically modified, you want to avoid. And I'll make another video about how bad and why we should avoid genetically modified foods, but uh, don't be naive about it. It is serious stuff, folks. And there's a direct connection between disease in your own body, cancer, and, and, and other diseases, and genetically mo modified food in our diets. So uh, one of them is not just what we're eating, what we're wearing, cotton. Unorganic cotton is, uh, is, is possibly uh, genetically, genetically modified. So, uh, so uh, that, and that's just not, it's towels, it's bedding, and, and, and other things as well. So try to get non-GMO or organic cotton on the label if you can. Uh, the next one, tobacco, uh, for those of you that smoke cigarettes. Uh, so so this is just another reason why uh, tobacco is so unhealthy. Uh, is that genetically modified? And it just gets crazy. I mean, trees and flowers, they're doing genetically modifying them to resist certain diseases and not dying quickly. Uh, roses are one of the flowers, uh, and I believe carnations. Uh, are, are some of the flowers that are definitely genetically modified. The eucalyptus. Uh, is 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 genetically modified in certain countries. So uh, keep that in mind when you're out there playing golf. The grass on a golf course most probably genetically modified to some degree, uh, and 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 it's it's all in the name of money. So the banana doesn't die quickly, and the crop, the grass, and the flowers stay fresher longer. All in the name of money. Uh, they're even going so far to uh, genetically uh, modifying human humans. Humans. It's a crazy world we live in. Crazy world. Uh, in Indonesia and some other countries around the world, sugarcane, which is such a popular uh, product today, probably more popular in, in most foods, genetically modified. So, uh, so, so we need to be careful because sugar isn't everything. And, and again, try to get stuff in the United States because genetically modified uh, sugarcane is not approved yet in the United States. Uh, but uh, the GMO sugar from the sugar beet is available, so we got to be careful. And uh, now tomato was the first big genetically modified food that was on a list of people uh, learning about uh, genetically modified foods. And uh, currently there are 11 approved uh, varieties of tomatoes, but are not commercially available. So, so again, organic is best. Organic is best. So keep that in mind. Uh, rice. Rice in certain countries uh, is, is, is genetically modified. So, 
you know, a lot of animals consume rice and other and other rice products and so on. Again, uh, get 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 it uh, get it organic if you can. Uh, wheat in Colombia and uh, in New Zealand is now uh, genetically modified. It used to be in the United States, no longer in the United States, uh, mm-hmm. but 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 it is now. Uh, then they're talking about melons and bananas, cantaloupes, bananas, and, and, and they're making them genetically modified in the future. They're adding them to the list. Bananas is one we're going to have to be careful with. You need to get it organic. Uh, uh, bananas are the next big uh, GMO fruit to be approved. Uh, so genetically modified bananas are, are, are currently part of uh, this multi-million dollar experiment. And uh, pretty soon it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be happening, so so we need to be careful. And then even mosquitoes, mosquitoes—they're genetically modifying the mosquito to wipe out all the non-GMO mosquitoes. And as we know, mosquitoes are stinging things all over the place. And you're going to know it's crazy. This—the mosquitoes that are genetically modified are going to actually have green glowing duck eyes. I saw a picture of it online. It's just. It's, it's, it's scary, folks. This is why we need to, number one, grow our own food, store our own seeds, and, and really uh, understand the, 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 the impact uh, on our per- physical bodies that genetically modified foods has, because I think people are just not aware of how serious this is. Uh, I did a video online. If you check my uh, YouTube channel, my website, Raw Life Health Show, Genetically Modified Foods or GMOs, you can see the interview I did about this topic, and it's powerful stuff. So I hope that clarified for everyone. Uh, genetically modified and organic are not necessarily the same thing. And that was the main purpose of this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have questions or comments, put them below the video. Until then, everybody have a great day and a great real life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.